हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट अ डेटा कंपाइलर टू कोलेट द डेटा फ्रॉम डिफरेंट वर्कशीट इनटू अ फाइनल वर्कशीट ओके सो वी विल यूज़ द वीबीए टू कोलेटिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट वर्कशीट आई हैव सम वर्कशीट हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट जैन सेकेंड जैन थर्ड जैन एंड सिमिलरली up to the 12th gen and i have created a collected data sheet here so i am taking the command button active x command button from developer tab insert okay so just click on the property check the uh, select the command button and click on the property and changing the caption for the command button which is compile the data okay and so we can double click on this button to go into the coding window or can right click and go to the view code okay now code is visible for this button now we will write the code here to compiling the data so first of all i am defining the worksheet dim dsh as worksheet and dim as such as a worksheet worksheet okay so i have defined two worksheet here one is dsh second is sh now i am assigning dsh equal set dsh equal to this workbook dot seeds and i will assign collated data for dsh okay so now collated data is dsh so uh, we have to take an integer so i am defining dim i as inte integer and we will write a loop to collating the data from the different worksheet and we will paste that data to the collated data worksheet okay so i am writing the code dim i equal to 2 so my code will uh, so my code will start from the seat number 2 so collated data sheet is available on the uh, first location so that is why i'll start collating data from seat number two so make sure there should not be any hidden seat in your workbook okay so let's start set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and i i is the running number basically in the loop okay so each time sh will be changed for first time sh will be seat number two which is first chain and similarly again it will be seat number three seat number four so as so now i'm using the codes ss dot used range dot copy so all data which is used on the sh will copy and now i will paste on the dsh okay so for that i am taking n and m as long okay to getting the last row where i should paste the data and i will get the last row after for i and uh, now i'll write the code to getting the last row n is equal to dsh dot range a and application dot row dot end excel up dot row okay this is the code to getting the last row for the collated data sheet so where we have to paste the uh, value from the different worksheet so each time the last row will be changed okay so now i am pasting this data dss dot range a and n plus one dot paste special space excel value and formats okay so uh, just look at here uh, our data is available to the g column so now we will give uh, one more column h column for the seat name in the collated data sheet okay so i'm just copying the same data and just changing the last row with the m 
so post pasting the data the last row will be the m and before pasting that data the last row will be n okay so now i'm writing this code on the column h so we are creating the column h for writing the seat name from base seat this data has been copied okay dss dot range h n plus 1 which is uh, the last row before pasting the data and comma h and m after pasting the last row dot value equal to ss dot name this seat from which we have copied the data the name of that particular seat okay so right click on the button just go to the format and click on the don't move with the cell okay so there is some error in the code so we have to write the count after rows to getting the last row just press this count press f5 again there is an error that is oh uh, rows dot count again okay now it's working so data has been collected just look at the collected data sheet so now data is collected from all the seats okay so click on the button now data is collected but still there is some formatting issue first row is blank okay so we can write a code to deleting the first row we can write dsh dot range one to one one colon one inverted comma close bracket close dot delete so first row will be deleted okay post collecting the data so i'm deleting it manually and we can give the header for the h column also h1 dot value equal to seat name so we have given the sheet name on column h okay so this is the additional column which we have added this is not available in each seat so just to identifying from this sheet data is uh, collecting so uh, okay so there is some issue with the data just let's check compile we have a stop at dss dot range one delete again the same thing oh so we should uh, clear the seat first before the collating the data that is why we have to write a code after defining the collated data seat we can write it here dss dot cells cells means the entire workbook entire worksheet sorry uh, dot delete so entire worksheet data will be deleted okay then uh, data collection will be started okay fine so now we are collecting able to collect the data okay now there is one more problem with the data actually we are uh, copying all the data from the all the workbook that means we are copying the header also from the worksheets right so if you will check the call profile uh, call offered is available uh, many time so we have to delete the headers first header we will be there and uh, we'll delete the all rest of all headers from the data okay and uh, so now just delete header dss dot used range which is available range dot auto filter we will use the auto filter there filter the data and we'll take the field one which is the column a and the criteria will be interval so we will select interval from column one dss dot range a2 dot a 10 lakhs or the ma uh, maximum value which you can give available rows dot special cells bracket start the last one excel cell type visual dot entire row dot delete okay so uh, visual cells will be deleted now we will use dss dot auto filter mode equal to false to remove the filter now just look at there so now headers have been removed yes all the headers interval headers have been removed okay so now we will format the data 
okay now our data is correct and it it is collated finally now we will format this data so we will use with dss dot use range and close with with the end with okay okay now so we will give the horizontal alignment so we'll type dot horizontal alignment equal to excel center dot vertical alignment we can give excel justify or excel center and we can give the row height okay or the border line first of all we give the border dot line style equal to excel hairline then we will give the uh, row height so we can define the row height of the uh, our data so entire row dot row height equal to 15 similarly for the entire column dot column width will be 12 and uh, we also can give the font size and font name so font size equal to 9 and the font name so you can give the font name whatever you want to give you can go to the home copy the font name or you can change the font then copy the font name and you can paste it here okay so now we will format to the headers this is uh, all the data will be uh, available in the used range so now we have to give another line to uh, format the header so we will format the header now so with dsh dot range a1 colon h1 dot font dot bold equal to true okay so font should be bold for the header and dot interior color okay we'll change the interior color interior color index equal to 15 you can take the color index from the google for the vva so you will get the number for the each color from there okay so now active window dot grid lines equal to false to remove the grid lines from the worksheet and now at last we can give the message box msg vox for the message box data has been compiled in inverted comma now our code is completed basically so now your data will be collated from the different worksheet to one worksheet so now let's check compile data yes data has been compiled so uh, data has been compiled and formatted also and headers has been deleted already okay extra headers so you can also check here so seat name is also available as the first gen second gen third gen if i will delete the data for the first gen and second gen and then i will collate it okay then the data will collate it from the third gen just look at this data yes third gen and then fourth gen so that is how you can create the compiler from the worksheets okay in my next video i will tell you how